Hi second graders, Mrs. Cosman here. Happy Earth Day. For today's experiment, I have two little sponge fish. I cut regular sponges into a little fish shape. And I have them sitting in two containers of water. And I have a story about these fish. We have Freddy and Phil, the fish. And we're going to see what happens to them when Phil decides to stay in the pond where they live and Freddy goes to explore down the river. And we're gonna see what happens to them as they explore, as Freddy explores. So here we have Freddy the fish. He's a happy fish that lives in the crystal clear water, enjoys the shade of tall trees all along the riverbank and gets lots of insects to munch on each day. He enjoys swimming around and playing with his friend, Phil. One day, Freddy wondered what was beyond this little part of the river. He decided to go on a little journey and explore. He heads downstream. He's ready to see the world. Phil decides he's going to lay back and stay here. Along the river, Freddy first comes across a spot where bulldozers are taking out trees and clearing land. Soil and dirt roll into the river because there are no trees or roots to hold the soil in place. Poor Freddy gets soil in his gills. Without the trees, Freddy notices he's feeling a lot warmer. He's got soil's gotten in the water. As Freddy continues down the river, he spots some black and white animals moving closer and closer to the river. While these animals are getting a drink, they drop a present into the water for Freddy. Freddy is not impressed with that smell or the sediment that's being stirred up. As Freddy rounds the corner, he he has to dodge a golf ball that nearly lands in the river. The golf club likes to keep their course looking nice, so they use a lot of fertilizer. So they, so unfortunately, when it rained last, it caused a runoff of fertilizer into the river. Freddie noticed that the that this area had a lot of tall plants growing and actually was starting to feel smoother. However, Freddie's a trooper and charged on. He was so determined to see all that the river had all the river had to offer. After a while of swimming, Freddie began to notice a salty taste in the water. And he started to feel the sting of salt in his gills. All the salt that was used on the roads in the winter had started working its way into the river. Ouch, it's hurting. Freddy continues on and passes a picnic site at a local park. As he was passing, the wind began to blow and litter blew right into the river from the park. Freddy's starting to feel a bit distressed, but he keeps moving on. It begins to rain and Freddy notices this rain is different. It turns out the rain is acid rain caused by the air pollution. Along the river edge, Freddy comes across an old abandoned factory. There are a lot of toxic pollutants and rusty materials seeping into the river. This creates a sludge in the river. Red Freddy tries to swim through it.
After struggling, Freddie finally gets through all the toxic pollutants in the river. Along the side of the river, Freddie notices a man dumping oil from his car into the river. The oil gets into his gills and he starts to have difficulty breathing. He gasps and gasps and gasps and he finally takes his last breath. As Freddie was traveling down the river, he encountered all kinds of different pollution in the river and got, kept trying to swim through, but it wasn't going so well. And eventually it killed Freddie. Look at Freddie compared to Phil who had nothing that interacted with him. Which water would you wanna be swimming in? I know I wouldn't wanna swim in that. So with Earth Day, we need to be making sure that we're thinking about what we're doing to help our planet and how we're, we might be hurting it, even if it's unintentionally. Making sure that we're picking up after ourselves and disposing of things the correct way. Because we don't want to be killing poor little Freddy and all of his friends because we forgot to pick up our trash or things like that. So today, I want you to make sure that you're trying to make an effort today and every day to clean up after yourself and help take care of our planet. Because if we don't take care of it, nobody will. Have fun. Keep exploring.